Hey everyone, I'm Wanda. Ever been in that situation when you want to move or back up your game saves but you just can't find them? Well, in this video I'm doing a quick how-to on finding the save game files for any game you're playing. Actually, it's more of a find all files modified in a certain time by a certain app, but we'll get to those details later. You're probably already familiar with various common save game locations and if you can quickly find your file in one of those folders, great, you're done. However, going through all that can take some time and sometimes the save file just isn't there. But then the game always loads your last checkpoint so you know it must be somewhere, right? Well, here are my two favorite methods for tracking down those save files. First and easiest one, and you already have the magic tool you need, File Explorer, so just run a file search by modify time. So let's start up the good old File Explorer, make sure that you can see hidden files, and click the search box in the top right corner of the window. This opens up the search tab, and here make sure you're looking in all subfolders, and then type in your search query. We'll be looking for all files modified while the game was running, so just type in the start time from when you were playing the game, and the best end time is the moment you finished or soon after. Here's the exact form in which you can enter the dates. You can either use numbers over 12 for afternoon hours or just the AM or PM notation, both will work. I'll leave this in the description so you can just copy paste it and modify the exact time and date values when you need them. And this is enough to run the search. Now you can make the search more precise by narrowing down the folders where your save files could be. For example, I have three disks here, but I know the files could only be on C or D, so I'll add that condition to the search query. Now I'm looking for files either on the C or D disk modified while I was playing the game. If you're only looking in one folder, you can simply navigate to that folder in File Explorer and run the search from there. This is the syntax I use when I want to search in multiple specific folders. You can also type in a more precise path such as C users or D games if you know that your save files couldn't have ended up anywhere else. When the search is done, there are often too many files found to just scroll through everything, so what I like to do is select all, then shift right click it, it only works if you're holding shift down while right clicking, and then select copy as path. Now I can pass all the file paths to my favorite text editor, or for now notepad to stick with the you don't need to download any new software part of the video, and here in notepad I can use the search, Control F or edit search to look for the possible save file. I'll just select wrap around here to make sure it's searching the whole file, and just look for the save file. I like this more than searching by file name, because if I can't guess a part of the file name on my first attempt, I don't have to rerun the search every time I want to try another guess. This is all I normally need to find the file, I just need to know the right time frame for this to work. My second favorite method is one that works while you're playing the game. It finds all files modified by the game you're running, which will of course include the save file. This one requires downloading a tool that isn't included in Windows by default. It's a free download though and the file is pretty small so it shouldn't be a problem. Just go to www.sysinternals.com and search for a program called Process Monitor. I'll leave the download link in the description. So download the zipped file, unpack it anywhere and it's ready to use. Just run the process monitor exe, and the first thing we'll do is set up the filter. Now this is easier if the game is already running, because it will show up in the dropdown. So let's start the game, again I'll go with Soma, but this really works with any application. And once it's started, I can alt tab back to the process monitor. If by any chance you don't have control of the mouse pointer here, just hit the Windows Start button on your keyboard. And here I'll open the filter by either clicking the icon or pressing Ctrl L. Now in the filter window I want to add a rule that will filter by process, 
So I'll select process name is and then select the game. If you can't find the game here, uh, you can look it up in the task manager, which you can find in search when you hit the start button or just press Control shift escape to open it. All your running apps, including the game, are going to show up he here. So select the process name, click add, and now we want to select the operation. I usually choose operation is create file and operation is write file. Actually, write file alone would be enough, but let's get a little extra info for now. This is enough for finding the save files. If you're curious, you can also find out which files the game reads from or if it writes anything to registry. This is something I like to watch when installing new software, but it's not really relevant in this case. I still haven't found a game that writes any of its save data to registry, but if you want to search for that too, you can add a filter where operation is reg create key or reg set value. So I'll add those three rules and start playing the game. After it's written some of the save data, I'll check the process monitor again. I can click the magnifying glass, the capture icon here to stop capturing. Actually, I can close the game as well, but I don't need to just to find the files. Might need to if I want to mess with the file's contents, but I'm not going to do that now. Uh, now the list is pretty long here, so one easy way to narrow it down is by right-clicking some files that appear often, but you know are not the file I'm looking for, and then selecting Exclude Path. Now that the list isn't so big, it's pretty obvious that these files here contain the save data. It's also very easy to access them from here. Just right-click the file and select Jump To. This will open the containing folder in File Explorer. And that's it. Those are the two methods for finding game files that I wanted to show today. I hope you found them useful when you want to backup, move, or hack your save data. If you want this video to be easier to find, smash the like button. If you want to stay up to date with the channel, subscribe. Thank you for watching everyone and have fun gaming.